All right, guys, just down on the new second fairway bunker. So this is the new one on the right-hand side. Uh, we've got the old one. It's been filled in. Just need to finish turfing. Um, we've got fencing to clear up still. But um, looking at the new bunker, it's a real nice shape. Uh, a lot of thought has gone on into where these two new fairways have gone. So um, you can see we've got the rubber crown underneath, built up with the new thicker revetting. Um, this is much better than the stuff we used on 18 and 1. Um, that seemed to crumble away a little bit more than this one does. Um, it's a little bit more durable to the deers, which is good. So a lot of work's gone into this and we've got a big area now to turf, so you can see running outside. Um, so the next steps to get this in play will be get it all raked in again um, and then get the turf down, get it all cut in looking nice so it sits flush with the fairway um, and then adding the sand and getting it back in play as soon as possible. So we're not too far off now. Um, as you can see, we've got Jack in the digger down on the green side. So we really are moving quickly with Casey, who's helped us out from World Trek. So he's got two lads labouring for us and they're working really quick, really efficiently. Um, I'll take you to the next fairway bunker. Just on the next left-hand side fairway bunker, this is more for the longer hitters, um, hence the, the bigger face. We really want to try and catch these people out. So again, this is used um, five pallets of revetting. So it's quite a lot to go into it but it does look really smart. And once these faces are burnt off and uh, sand's put in and it's all turfed, again, it's gonna look real nice and it's another great feature to the hole. So just on the second green side now, you can see Jack's shaped up real nice. Uh, we've got a nice little swale, so more of a ball trap. Uh, again, for long hitters in the summer, the ball does kind of run into this bunker. So that's gonna be a nice little catch and we've got a great little shape, um, nice high face on the right and then not, should be a nice easy shot into the green, but it'll be a nice challenging hole uh, with the new bunkers. And then moving on to the left hand side, you can see where we've started it. So we've got all these old cores that have been taken off the course, try not to waste anything. So we'll be backfilling with this. So backfilling is just where the revetting goes in behind um, to make sure it's a nice even layer. So a bit of revetting goes on, you fill it in using the old cores and you keep compressing it down. Um, just make sure the face doesn't slip, doesn't fall, um, and yeah, another deep bunker, but a nice one again. Uh, so we're getting a lot of comments about the greens and um, how nice they're looking. Um, it's just a change of program we've been doing. So we've raised the height up now for winter, so that 3.5 mil. So they look that little bit longer, but um, we're just trying to protect them from from the cold weather. And with a deer cold on, not getting into eight o'clock some days, you know, we really got to try and look after them. Um, leaving a dew on them for that long in the morning when it's quite cool and it's getting warm. Um, it's quite a, quite a dangerous thing. So uh, we're just trying to protect them. Uh, we want to get a spray out here soon, but with the wind, you can see by the flag that um, we're kind of struggling to get it out here. Um, but we have got something ready for it. And um, we've got a little maintenance planned uh, with a ninja tine. So you've, you've seen our videos before. We do a little ninja tine blowing behind and uh, you can't actually see what we've done. Um, and now we've got a dresser on hand all the time. We can do our little and often. Um, so you can probably tell they've got a little bit quicker this year, a little bit firmer. So with having that on now, um, we'll be doing it like once a week, really light, so you won't even be able to notice it. So um, it's more more good work, like being added to the ward screen um, and just getting out more like trueness, uh, get, get the fastness back into them and the firmness. So we want them playing as best as possible. Well, we know they're flat, but if they're true um, and fast, that's kind of what we want. So just on the first part of the process of our maintenance. So Sam's core in here. So essentially, when we look at this, you see it's all kind of dead grass, we're taking out all the thatch. So what we're doing, we're replacing it with um, the seed and putting some uh, soil in behind, it's like a light dressing. So rather than the solid tine, what we normally use, we're using a hollow tine in this one. So it's actually pulling it out rather than uh, just leaving a hole basically. Although it's a bit messier, um, it's, it's kind of what we need on, on the worn areas. So the next process will be Henry going in behind with the core collector. So uh, core collector just works. So rather than us picking it all up by hand, uh, it runs on a belt. So it just saves us a bit of man hours, saves us a bit of time and uh, saves boys backs as well. So here comes to the first line. because there's not loads to pick up here. But um, yeah, so you're gonna put the blade down and it goes into the belt, which then goes into the back. So you can see it coming out the back here.
And then moving on to the next part. So we've got Adam and Max in behind. So they're blowing. So this approach has just been done. So it's all been cored. You see from the outside, we've still got a bit more blowing to do. Um, we've still got a little bit more left, uh, mess left. But after it's cored, we get the seed in and get dressed same as we're doing the teas. You can see it's leaving a little hole. But it um, just gets the air moving, gets all the water in, um, and it just helps everything grow better. So you can see Adam's blowing in behind here, the Pro Force. And then you can see behind me, Max has got the cedar out. So you'll be getting the seed in, into the hand dresser. And that's what we've been doing on the Apton Teas.